Hi everybody, this is Kevin again. This week coming up should be a pretty interesting week, I think. Um, we're going to have Passover uh, on the 19th, which will be the 14th of Nisan, okay? <clears throat> um, four days before that, the 10th of Nisan, on that day, which is going to be tomorrow, the 15th of April, I found out just from this morning... Uh, watching some videos from a guy named Steve Monette. His channel is SR Monette. I'm going to give you links to a couple of his videos in the description box so you can watch them for yourself. And he presents some pretty convincing evidence that, you know, he basically believes we're in the time period right now, in the spring time period. He's not setting any kind of date. Not a day or an hour, but he thinks in this time period of 2019, it's very possible that your church will be raptured uh, during this springtime, around the Passover time frame. All the way from, well, basically all the way from that time until May 14th, which of course will be the 71st year for Israel to be a nation again. It'll be the end of the 70th year of Israel's being a nation again since 1948. So um, I saw this, by the way, of uh, a couple of different posts this morning on Five Doves, one of them from Jim Bramlett, and uh, he basically put in links to two of those videos from Steve Monette, and uh, also from a guy named Harold on Five Doves, who also put a, a link to one of those same videos. And uh, they are very encouraging. And uh, Steve seems to be a man who is very knowledgeable on what he's talking about as far as not only historical events, but on, also Bible prophecy. He knows the scriptures very well. So, um, you know, he said in um, the second to the last video that, that he has out there, that he thought that was going to be his last video to make. Uh, he did make one, however, within the last day um, that he said, no, I, I didn't think I would, but I'm going to make another one. And uh, But he absolutely believes that we're in that time frame. Um, and there's others who are, are saying the same thing. I mean, you know, uh, spring of 2019 seems to be a significant time frame then again, it could come and pass, and we could still be here, you know, scratching our heads. Um, so, uh, you know, I've always thought that the the fall time frame was the most logical time frame for the rapture to take place. But, you know, there again, I know that there's a lot of evidence that uh, it could be the spring time frame as well. Some people even look at Pentecost as being the, the, the right time frame for the church to go home. I don't really know for sure. All I know is that he points out a lot of things that he thinks is evidence of this time period in 2019 as being a very good watch time period for the rapture of the church. And um, we also have coming up sometime, you know, sometime in either April or May, probably, maybe not till June, but probably in April or May we have... We're going to have the revealing of the Trump uh, peace deal between the Palestinians and Israel. And it'll probably, probably be a peace agreement among other nations that surround Israel as well. Because I know that they've had talks with King, uh, 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 the King of Jordan. <laughs> um, I can't think of his name offhand now. Uh, but anyway, the King of Jordan. And I think also with uh, Egypt as well. So... Being that's the case, I know that President Trump is very good at making deals that are good for everybody. Although, as Steve points out in a, in a previous video, or actually in this latest video that he has, actually, uh, it's not going to be a good deal for America if America is part of dividing the land of Israel. It's going to be bad for us, and we've even had already a lot of flooding in the Midwest and so forth, uh, natural uh, types of uh, catastrophes, natural disasters that have happened in America 
and he believes that those ha absolutely have to do with the fact that there's been this plan going on to try to divide Israel and uh, and give some of it to the Palestinians. Um, he may mention also that there are parallels from the book of Ezra as far as the Babylonian captivity and also the rebuilding, you know, when they built the second temple. And before they did that, <clears throat> they had sacrificed on an altar before they actually built the temple. Two years before it, they sacrificed on an altar. Um, and, they exempt, and so that happened this past December as well. If you remember, back in December, the Sanhedrin uh, made a, an animal sacrifice on an altar you know, outside the the uh, Western Wall, and um, that was significant in in the fact that they are planning to build a third temple. So that was something they're doing in kind of in the in the same way that was done in Ezra. It's it, if you read Ezra chapter three, it's kind of in the same way that they're doing that in preparation for building a, a third temple. So. Um, another thing that he, he brought out was that um, this uh, tomorrow, actually, they're going to do it tomorrow, actually, on the 10th of Nisan, which is 15th of April. They're going to actually, Sanhedrin is actually going to, they've already got permits and everything. They're going to have a, a, a sacrifice, a lamb sacrifice, uh, probably on that same altar, but they're going to they're gonna sacrifice a lamb for Passover, and it'll be the first time that they've ever done that in, you know, since the time when Jesus' ministry was going on here, or, you know, since the time when the, the, the second temple was still standing. But they're actually going to have a lamb sacrifice uh, tomorrow, from what he says, you know, from an article he read. So we'll just have to see what happens. I know a lot of people are also probably... Uh, wondering what I have to say concerning the Israeli elections, the fact that now those are over, Benjamin Netanyahu won, which is a good thing for Israel. Um, also that that uh, Rabbi Konevsky was, was wrong, I guess, because there was no Messiah that came and stood up and said, I'm, I'm the Messiah. That didn't happen before the uh, Israeli elections. And I told you before, I said, you know, I, I, this guy is probably not right, but it shows what they believe. It shows that they have this desire, this desire for the Messiah to return and also a desire to build a third temple. This time frame, they, they haven't had this kind of desire to do this in the whole time frame of their diaspora until they came back to Israel. And even during this, this past 70 years since Israel became a nation again, they haven't had this kind of desire until now to build a third temple and to and basically to, in making these predictions saying Messiah is going to be here. Messiah is coming. He's going to be showing up any time now. But now they absolutely believe that. That's another sign to us, I think, of how close things are as far as the rapture and the beginning of the 70th week of Daniel, which does have absolutely has to do with Israel, has to do with the Jews. It's the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? It's the 70th week of Daniel. Uh, Daniel was given that time period and said that's for his people, the Jews, and for Jerusalem, the holy city. And, you know, there's such a fight right now among so many different factions for taking over Jerusalem and making it their own. Okay, there's a recognition of Jerusalem as being significant, more significant than any other city in the world. Nobody else is fighting over any city like they're fighting over Jerusalem. So that being the case, um, I think that these are all things that we're looking at and saying, you know, I, I think maybe we have a good possibility that this is a good time frame, a watch time frame. That being the case, we need to make sure that we get the gospel out to the lost that's something that steve also mentions every time in his video at the end and uh, he calls it the abcs of salvation and he says uh basically they have to admit that they're a sinner they have to uh, 
believe on Jesus Christ for salvation and uh, the, you have to call, the C is for call on the Lord to save them. Call on the, on the name of the Lord. Call on Jesus Christ to, uh, to save them from their sins. And I would say that's very good advice and I'd say that we need to make sure that, that we try to get as many people in the lifeboat as possible because the Titanic's going down. And the Titanic is this world. It's going down. But but the the, the, safe, the lifeboat is Jesus Christ. He's the lifeboat to save people from their sins and to give them eternal life. And in this case, for also people to be saved from the wrath that's coming. The wrath of God is going to be poured out on this world like never before. And I know that the preterists don't believe that, but they're going to see it firsthand if, they, if they're not believers. If they're not true believers in Jesus Christ, they're, they're either going to get raptured if they are true believers, and they're going to see that, that they were wrong in believing what they did believe in, or if they're not really believers at all and they're just trusting in their own works for salvation, they're going to still be here. And they're going to have to make a choice at some point, too, of whether they want to worship the image of the beast and take the mark of the beast or resist and be beheaded for uh, for Jesus Christ. That's that's going to be their option. But either way, you know, I pray that uh, more and more people in this last time frame, these last days or hours that we have left, will come to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation uh, because it's very important at this time. And uh, I don't know. I can't, I'm not saying that I know exactly what day that that the Lord's going to take us home. I'm not going to say that because I don't know. I'm just saying that looking at the evidence of what we see with this peace deal coming forth soon and uh, the, the Passover time frame and the end of the 70th uh, anniversary of Israel and the 71st year is going to begin. I think all of that maybe is evidence of the time frame we're living in that we are living in the very, very last days of the church age. And I will still continue to believe that we are at that time frame. Uh, I don't see anything else that shows me any different. I think that we are in those last days of the church age, whether even if it has to be another couple of years. But I still think that, and he said he, he's not going to, Steve said he's not going to come out with any more videos if he's wrong. And this, you know, after May is over with if nothing has happened no no rapture then he's not going to come out with any other dates or any other time frames to look at for any years to come he flat out said I, that's it we'll have to see but that's what he's saying I, I think he's he's a very knowledgeable brother in christ i like what he has to say and um with that i just wanted to give you that kind of an update and um uh, if there's any of you that, that don't know for sure that if you die today, you'd go to heaven, you don't know if you have eternal life, then you can know, but you have to realize that you're a sinner in need of a Savior, that you are, you have sinned against God. Even if you just committed one sin, that's enough to condemn you to eternal damnation. And you must put your trust in Jesus Christ. He died on the cross 2,000 years ago for your sins and my sins, everyone's sins. He paid the price, and the God the Father accepted that payment. He accepted that payment that Jesus made on the cross. Jesus was the only one that could make that payment because he is the, he's God the Son. He's, son. he's the Son of God. He's God in the flesh. And he made that payment, and he was buried, and then three days later he rose from the dead. That's another time period that's coming up, uh, the recognition it comes from the Catholic Church of what they call Easter, what we call Resurrection Sunday. That's coming up this Sunday. But either way, um, you must put your trust in Jesus Christ. Believe on Him. Call on the name of the Lord. Call on Jesus Christ. Believe in Him. And realizing that you're a sinner in need of a Savior. And He will save you. He will give you eternal life. And with that, I'm going to say God bless you all. And bye for now.